Get ready. There is a new top dog in town, and we mean that really literally for three decades straight. The Labrador Retriever was named the favorite dog breed by the American Kennel Club. Well, this year it changed. Paula Tutman here with the breed that is taking the lead. For 31 years, the affable family favorite Labrador Retriever has held the nation's hearts and attentions, hearths and bedsides, as America's favorite dog. But like our love affair with fries, pastries, and onion soup, America has gone French. And the new fan fave is this guy, the French Bulldog. Ah! Short, stocky, with a lovable face, the French Bulldog has now been the American Kennel Club's top dog for a second year in a row, officially toppling the lab as the number one dog in America. And Novi breeder Rod Dowdell, who fell in love with this remarkable little beast decades ago, explains why. I love this breed because it's, 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 a, it's a really low maintenance breed and they're, they're just a super cool dog. And I, I think it's one of those things that like you have to experience the dog. As the founder and owner of Blue Star Frenchies and as an AKC registered breeder, he doesn't show, but he breeds to show. And he explains why good things come in small packages as he lovingly cares for his brand new litter of pups, just seven days old. <laughs> This is Ladybug's very first litter, and to Rod, she's a queen. If I was sitting on a couch, Ladybug would hop on a couch with me, and she's going to sit there and watch TV. So a lot of times we watch Animal Planet dog shows. She'll sit here. She barks at the TV. It's almost like she's communicating with the dogs on the TV. But this is a man-made breed created specifically for its size and personality. The French Bulldog uh, doesn't naturally breed because of the size and the structure of the dog, so they have to be surgically inseminated or artificially inseminated. Um, they don't naturally have puppies because their hips are so small and the puppies' heads are so big, they, they normally won't naturally pass, they'll get stuck. So they almost always have to be born cesarean, um, C-section. So without human interaction, the French Bulldog and the English Bulldog would probably go ex extinct. And it has no natural mating or birthing capabilities. Everything about this dog is fueled by humans. I like this breed because it's the best breed that I've ever encountered. It's, it's, uh, it's a really cool breed. They got great temperaments. You can travel with them. They're super, they're, they're kind of ugly, but the ugliness is what makes them super cute. Oh, and this is super cute. Here's that cute alert again with one of these little babies. So adorable. But listen, I, I, I do have some serious stuff I want to talk to you about. A lot of people talk about don't shop, adopt. But there are people who want these kinds of breeds. They, they want this breed of dog. The price threshold is around $3,000, $6,000. Sounds like a lot. But that also indicates the breeding program and the health of the breeding program. It's OK. And if you do want one of these dogs, Rod says if you talk to a breeder and they're not chatty, if they're not interested in talking to you, move on because a good breeder will want to talk to you below the $3,000 mark. You got to really ask a lot of questions, Karen. I've got but a couple. Back to I do cues. have a couple questions. So how big do they get? How about shedding and are they good with little kids? Just curious if you can ask. They're great with little kids. Okay. Yep. Great little kids. Wonderful temperament. Can you here show Ladybug right here? So this is so he does not show, but he breeds to show. So you can see about the size. What's that, Rod? About 25? Oh, uh, she's about 25 pounds. 25 pounds? Yeah, okay. it looks about 25 pounds. And, you know, not a pocket puppy, but no. great dogs bred because of their temperament. And they're lovable. And they are lovable. They are lovable. New puppy top breath. dog in town. All right. Thank you, Paula. Appreciate it.